Hi guys, how are we doing? Uh, annoying result tonight. Uh, obviously, a two-one loss um, to Port Vale, <coughs> which uh, ends our three wins on the bounce sort of roll we were on. Uh, and I'm going to rattle through this quick because I realised my last video was a bit long. Um, but I'm recording this straight after the final whistle because my last video I, I made a couple of mistakes in. Uh, and that's probably because I waited till the next day and I was a little bit hungover because obviously we won. So I got my notes and I've done bullet points. And this time I'm going to try something different. I'm going to read out exactly what I wrote. And it's, so it's all in chronological order. Uh, and then I'll explain a little bit if it needs explaining. So the first thing I wrote down, uh, Podge and Taylor. Obviously that's the first, uh, sorry, that's the uh, starting lineup we went with uh, striker-wise. That's the um, they're the two we went for. Uh, and I'm kind of happy with that. I, I personally, the next thing I wrote, would really like to see Ellison start. I know he's 42 years old, and I know we all have a laugh with him and all that sort of stuff, but I absolutely think uh, he'll try and prove himself. And I I would love, just once, and I'll be happy to be proved wrong, but I would love to see um, Podge and Ellison start. I think that'd be really interesting. And then, like we made a sub at half-time this time round for our strikers, if Ellison can't hack it or Podge, as it's been recently, um, then that's something you can you can uh, adjust at half-time. Next one right with white shorts. Uh, <laughs> um... Port Vale wore black shorts, which meant we weren't allowed to. Uh, and I'm blaming today's loss on the fact we wore white shirt, white shorts. No Maynard. Um, that's my next bullet point. Uh, I think the commentator, Tim Thraves, mentioned that Maynard was uh, is potentially injured. Uh, so he wasn't even on the bench today. Next thing I wrote was, this was, while well, it was still nil-nil, was strong start from Vale. And boy, was I right, um, because a few seconds later they scored. And my next bullet point, great football, great goal. Uh, annoyingly enough, it was a fantastic goal and a really well-worked team goal that they scored. <coughs> um, but when it is, abs if it was a, a, a defensive mistake by ourselves, then that's where you sort of get annoyed. But if they play beautiful football um, in League Two, and if you do play beautiful football in League Two, chances are you're probably going to score. Um, so there we go, that's, that's exactly what happened. Uh, next thing, Labs doing what Labs does. Um, he sent a Port Vale player flying with a little push in the back. He probably went down a bit easy, but he did absolutely push him, and it gave away a free kick, but um, nothing came of it, so that's fine. Uh, but obviously, I wrote that down before I knew nothing came of it. Uh, we concede, and Dolan moves to midfield. Yeah, so as soon as we did concede that goal, Dolan sort of pushed up and went to sort of like a flat back four. Um, and it worked okay, because obviously we scored later on in the game. Uh, although I do absolutely prefer uh, Matty Dolan as a centre-back. Uh, Farkey, uh, Priestley for Kwasen, uh, did not have a good first half. He really didn't. Um, I think 10 seconds into the game, he absolutely scuffed a pass and gave the ball away. And again, like I said a minute ago, luckily nothing came of it. But uh, you sort of hope that you do one of those and get it out of your system and then um, and then don't do another one. But he, he had, a, he had a, a pretty bad first half. And let's not forget, he came from, non, from the non-league. Uh, and so far, he's actually proved to be a really, really good sign-in. Um, but this first half, these first 45 minutes were not for him. Uh, next bullet point, they dominated the first half. They absolutely did. Uh, and then my sort of, not my predictions, but what, if I was Michael Flynn going into the um, change room at half time, I'm sure Michael Flynn would probably swear and shout a bit more than I would. Uh, but I suggested um, that Benno comes off and Gambin comes on. Uh, at half time, and then that was that was the only change I would have made, and I was kind of right, I think. No, I was right for that. Yeah, uh, Benno did come off, and Gamma did come on, uh, but then also Podge came off, and Scrimshaw came on, which I wouldn't have done. But as you'll hear in a minute, uh, it paid off. Um, and I also would have said stay flat floor, uh, flat four. Sorry, because um, uh, Matty was doing quite well in the midfield, uh, but I would have pushed Sheehan up a bit further because he played really really deep today, which he did last game as well. Um, so I would have pushed Sheehan up to maybe play in the cam sort of spot. Um, yeah, so second half kicks off. Uh, I, th I think it was Taylor, but I'm sure then the commentator suggested it might have been somebody else. A absolute rocket of the left foot. Just I think it might have been just on the line or maybe um, just outside the box. And it absolutely rattled the crossbar. And I think their keeper got a touch to it. So fair play to him if he did. But that was a, a really, really good, um, really, really good shot. Uh, and then Scrimshaw, um, a little bit later on, Scores an equaliser, which my eye follow absolutely crapped its pants and um, I was buffering. So I missed it. Uh, I, I literally, I, I watched the replay. I uh, watched the ball roll over the line. And from what I saw, I saw, what I heard from the commentators, Scrimshaw did really, really well to get into that position. 
uh, and then Mickey Dimitri sort of um, stretched and poked the ball forward and then Scrimshaw's goal was another stretch and another poke and it just um, trundled across the line sort of thing, which, you know, is abs absolutely fine. So fair play to Scrimshaw. Uh, and then for much of the second half, we were absolutely a different team. Um, we were playing great football, attacking, not desperate, desperate's the wrong word, but... Uh, we absolutely wanted it and we were, we were going mad for it. And it was great to see. And it's just a shame that we didn't start like that. Whereas Port Vale, that's how they started. And it's paid off for them, obviously. Um, 70th minute then, Farkey for Kwasen absolutely saved us. He was the last defender and he absolutely smashed in a beautiful tackle. Saved us there. 75th, 2-1. Um, uh, and I, I've written here, it was against the flow. It was against the flow of the game. We we look like I text my mates. Uh, I've got a couple of mates who are, are Bolton fans and that sort of stuff on a group chat. Um, uh, yeah, Cav and the boys all Bolton fans and stuff, and uh, we all do you know a little bit of gambling or whatever. And um, I was saying to them, lump on the Newport, we're gonna, we're going to win this. And then it completely, I, I felt like an idiot. Well, I didn't really. I don't really care if they lose their money, but um, against the the, the flow, uh, Port Vale going to score again, which was a little bit annoying. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then they go to a back five, which is obviously hard to penetrate. Um, what have I said here? Eight eighth minute. So we're we're two one down at this point, and although we were absolutely blasting and, and going and gunning and gunning and gunning, going for it, eight eighth minute they got a free kick and they changed the free free kick taker about four times just to waste time. And if we did it and we were winning, um, I probably wouldn't moan so much. But we weren't. We were losing, and they did it, and that's really really frustrating. And the last thing I've written down here. The ref was shocking. I didn't write shocking. I wrote another word beginning with S. Uh, the ref, I mean, it's League Two, and we all moan about the referees and the officials all the time. But this guy was just... I'm not blaming him for, for our loss, because we play in League Two, and this is something you sort of have to accept. But, oh my God, this referee was absolutely shocking. Uh, he was... Uh, a player of ours would get absolutely rattled straight through the back, didn't touch the ball, and he'd give a free kick to Port Vale. It was just uh, free uh, free kicks go the wrong way all the time. Um, he, the ref intercepted the ball in the first half, and then you're supposed to um, give a drop ball to the team that was in possession, and he just went, oh, yeah, play on, no dramas. Happened in the second half, and luckily, um, luckily he gave a drop ball because it was to us. But anyway, here endeth the, uh, the the bullet points that I've written down. Um, nobody drastically messed up for Newport. It was an absolute shame. Uh, and if somebody did mess up massively, I would sit here and I would quite happily, not crucify him, but I would quite happily say, bosh, uh, this person messed up and that's what led to this goal. Nobody was really bad. I mean, I was trying to think a minute ago before I started this video who I'd give man of the match to. Um, I'm sort of struggling to think, uh, which which doesn't really bode well, does it? And it tells you a little bit of a story about the football we were playing. Everybody was around about a seven or an eight or maybe a six or a seven or eight. Nobody shone. Nobody went mad and, and went for that nine. Um, I usually give a little shout out to Mickey Dimitri because he's usually really good. He had a better second half than he did first half. Matty Dolan, relatively quiet today. Lewis was pretty good. Ryan Taylor was okay. Um, Kevin Ellison, who got subbed on, he, he, he was okay. Noth nothing crazy. I'm a massive fan of Kev's, um, but it, you know, no nothing, nothing worth writing home about. Uh, the keeper, nope, nothing there really. I mean, everybody had an okay game, and maybe that's why. Uh, maybe that's why we lost. Um, no, we lost because of the white shorts. It's a fact. Right, black shorts next game. Uh, we're at Cardiff City Stadium, and we get to Leighton Orient. Don't forget, it's a one o'clock kickoff, so don't tune in at three and realise we've already won four 0 and you missed all the goals. Black shorts, and we'll win on Saturday. Stay positive, be happy. We're still fourth in the league. Um, we could have done with winning that because Forest Green are still four points ahead of us and they didn't play tonight. However, other results went our way tonight as well. Um, so let's not moan too much. We're still in it. We're still fourth. Uh, and here we go. Last little bit. If we get promoted this season, I will get a Newport County player tattooed somewhere on my body. Whether that's going to... I'm not sure who it's going to be yet. Potentially man of the match for the last game before before um, before we get promoted. Potentially the top goal scorer, maybe Michael Flynn. I don't know, but you heard it here first. Let me know in the comments or whatever uh, who you want to see tattooed on my horrible body uh, if, if, when we get promoted. All right, guys, be good, be safe. It's been 10 minutes. Um, I'm sure you're sick of hearing my voice because I'm sick of hearing my voice too. I'm going to finish this bottle of Merlot, play some cod and go to bed. Be good, be safe, be nice to each other. See you later. 
Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed. And as always, up the county.